a serious decline in provision of care in the community for older people and disabled people. And now we are about to embark on the worst winter crisis we have seen for decades. All the signs are already there. And at the same time, there's a continued drive towards privatisation, especially community and health, mental health services. Just the other day, it was announced that all community child health services in Wiltshire have been outsourced to virgin care. Uh. Increasing private provision is a goal of this government. They've marketised the health care the health service. This happened before under Labour, but it's been intensified under the coalition and under the Tories. They're looking for public sector failure so that they can bring in more private providers to say the NHS has failed. Let's have charges, let's have health insurance. It's getting harder and harder for doctors, nurses and other healthcare workers to provide good care for their parents, their patients and communities. This risks increasing um, harm to patients, also work-related stress, it reduces the quality of care and it reduces job satisfaction and is one of the main reasons for the very low morale in the health and social care workforce. Pay has stagnated and in fact there's been a 50% pay cut in the past five years. Wow. The costs of the market are taking resources away from frontline care. That's why, although the government says it's put more money in, it's a, a, a marginal increase, a lot of it is being diverted into the appalling waste from transaction costs of the market, estimated to be between five and 10 billion pounds a year. The pay cut is a real terms pay cut of about 15%. Um, <laughs> The government has chosen this time to attack junior doctors, forcing on them a contract that will mean a pay cut for many and worse conditions for most. The junior doctors are being balloted, and that ends next week, to see if they support strike action. It seems likely they will vote in favour of strike action, and there are strike days already pencilled in, 1st of December, 8th of December, 16th of December. Yeah, yeah. The government has been completely unreasonable, it is using lies and misinformation to try to justify this. The new contract will cut the pay at, for many doctors and remove vital safeguards that stop junior doctors working excessive hours, leading to more tired doctors and therefore increased risks of mistakes. This will harm patient care. This is a fight for quality care, quality workforce, well supported with good morale and proper pay for the work done. Therefore, the junior doctors are at the front line of the fight to defend a quality NHS and we must support them. We must all support them. If the government defeats the junior doctors, it will be the nurses and other healthcare workers next. They will redefine weekends and evenings as normal time to be paid at normal rates. This will make it cheaper for hospitals to employ people during antisocial hours and force more healthcare workers to work more antisocial hours. This has a direct effect on families and all those women, all those are women who, who are cared for by women because they are the main workforce in the NHS. What can we do about it? We must support the junior doctor's struggle. We must also campaign against austerity and in defence of public services, especially the NHS. Yeah. There are examples around the country of health professionals trying to tackle these issues. For example, GPs in Tower Hamlets fighting against increased funding for the private areas. The work of doctors and e